Welcome to the official Windows 8 channel and today we're going to talk about antivirus and especially how to install AVG free antivirus in your computer. Uh, first things first, if you don't know, you already have a protection in your Windows 8 computer that's called Windows Defender. If you go into your charms bar on the right side of the screen by swiping or going to the corners with your mouse, click search and just type Defender. Here you'll see Windows Defender show up right there. Windows Defender is an okay antivirus. It does the job and um, if you're looking for a free antivirus this is probably um, a good antivirus that's already in your computer. But you might actually want to have something else and AVG is actually one of the most popular free antivirus available. One of the big problems of Windows Defender is that it doesn't have any visuals. So you cannot look into the address bar, the toolbar, uh, or the uh, at the bottom right. You don't see any information about it. You don't see that it's running, actually. And that's probably the biggest problem with um, the Windows Defender is that you just don't know if it's working or not. So for that reason, you might want a third-party antivirus or if you've been using AVG for many years, maybe you want to have AVG back even in Windows 8. So to get AVG, just click your favorite web browser, go on the internet, and at the top in the address bar, you will type www.avg.com. Press enter, and you'll be directed to the AVG website. Try avoiding the search in Google because sometimes uh, some malicious website can send you to other places. And if you suspect your computer is infected, uh, really type directly avg.com in your browser. You should see this page. It should look like this. If it's not like this, maybe you are infected and you should download AVG from another computer, put it on a USB key, and then install it because you might be infected. If you're here, it's not bad. Go down to the left, you'll see looking for free antivirus, AVG antivirus free 2014. So simply go there. If you don't see it there, you can go at the top, you see PC, Mac, mobile, tablet. You can click the PC and you'll see that there's AVG antivirus free. You can click there also. It will bring you to the free antivirus page. It's going to compare its free and paid antivirus. Now, if you're wondering, um, is a free antivirus as good as a paid antivirus? The answer is no. Antivirus, is, for really good protection, paying for an antivirus is better than having a free one. But one of the things that is interesting about free antivirus is that if you are someone that's always doing the same things on the computer and are never really exposed to any threats, a free antivirus might be enough for protection. So look at the two columns. You'll see on, they're showing you what's the difference between the paid antivirus internet security and the free one. Go down, click free download, and there you should be sent to a download page. I will download from CNET in this case, which is uh, download.com or download.cnet.com. And once it's there, depending on your computer, you will see uh, Internet Explorer will show you do you want to uh, run the program. In Chrome here, I have the program on the bottom left showing up. I click on the file and of course I want to run it, yes there you will have AVG and let's continue on the installation sorry about the French installation here because my computer's uh, core Windows is in French so you um, leave it there being installed you choose your language and I'll change it here to English so that everybody can see here we go AVG installer you press next of course you can choose your favorite language there 
Click Next. Here you'll click I Accept. You will put a little dot in the basic protection with the free AVG. If you put it in the full protection, you'll have a 30-day trial, then you'll be prompted to pay $59.99. So put it in the basic protection. Next. Some installs sometimes want to install specific software uh, in AVG, so be careful not to install anything. You can try custom install, which will let you know uh, what you have, or you just press the express install recommended for most usage. And here you'll have, of course, install features and updates that are now downloading. AVG itself, as you see here, which is about a 50, 60 megabyte download. Depending on your computer and your internet speed, this can take anywhere from a minute or two up to several minutes for the antivirus software to download and install on your computer. So just let it go and um, follow the instructions. AVG Antivirus Free is a good antivirus. It is uh, always on the top lists of most tests that uh, major um, computer websites uh, when they test their antivirus it basically shows up almost always at the top uh, five position of free antivirus if you have any problems while it's installing one of the major problems that people have when installing antivirus is um, the fact that it gets error messages or it can't install correctly. If that happens, there's a very, very good chance that the biggest problem is the fact that you already have either an antivirus installed or you have viruses in your computers. Uh, people tend to say, well, oh, this is crap because it doesn't install my computer. And the big problem is usually you already infected with something. And viruses will try to prevent any antivirus software from installing on your computer. So it installs features and updates and um, after a little while you should see that it's completely installed. It might require a reboot of your computer which is totally normal. If you do a lot of online banking and browse the web a lot, search for all sorts of information on Google. I highly recommend that you uh, actually take a paid version of any antivirus software, um, AVG or any other. Uh, my personal favorite for a paid antivirus is ESET NOT32, which is a very good antivirus. As you see here, I've got Check Virus Protection. At the bottom, a little information here saying that it's out of date. So everything is going to, of course, probably happen and work um, on its own. So you just leave it there. Don't click any uh, information there. Uh, here you get this, uh, I want to help AVG improve its products by sending anonymous usage data. So you can leave it there or you can take it out. What's the anonymous data they send? Well, basically, if, anti, if your AVG antivirus um, encounters viruses or has some kind of problem in your computer, um, they basically send a file and information about your computer. Uh, not really any personal details, so don't worry. And it helps them actually know if your uh, antivirus has... Uh, if you're, uh, you know, more than usual error messages, or if after an update something happens, they will see how many people have that error message and actually try to fix the bug. If you don't want to send any information, you can leave out the check mark. A lot of people don't like uh, that computers, you know, send any information through the web because you never know exactly what these people send out. And you can click Finish. And as soon as you've done that, you should see this little protection. It says, 
not fully protected, so it says database out of date here on the left, just click the fix, click to fix it all, and uh, it's going to check for updates and update its virus database. And you're up and running. After this happens, it should turn to the green. Everything should be green. And you should have this AVG antivirus installed. In the desktop mode of your Windows 8 machine, you should see that AVG has a little icon, that little colored icon. If you don't see it, look at the little arrow right to the left of all the little icons. And I suggest that you click and drag the AVG icon somewhere on your taskbar so that it always looks, it always visually uh, available there. And there we go. You are protected. That's what you want to see at the end. If everything went well, this is what you'll have. And you are now protected with AVG antivirus free 2014. So hope it helped and that you enjoyed this uh, helpful video on how to get AVG free. If you uh, enjoy our videos, please subscribe to our channel. We have lots of videos online and you'll be informed when new videos are actually getting online. If you have any comments or questions on what you've seen, let us know. Maybe you have problems installing it. You can always send us that little question about, well, I get this error. And we'll try to see if we can help you in installing AVG on your computer. If you have that Windows 8 machine, well, we've got lots and lots of stuff on our channel. So lots of videos showing you how to use Windows 8 to the maximum. And um, maybe you have a feature, a program, or a um, Windows 8 a setting of some sort that you'd like us to talk about. Let us know. We'll try to put that video online, of course and help you and you'll be helping others at the same time. So thanks for watching and hope you come back to the official Windows 8 channel. Bye-bye.